I've been putting this off, but I'm going to show you just what this is. This is my little experiment. It does work, but not as intended. This was my idea in the late spring when we weren't getting a whole lot of water. This is a water bottle. This is a, a gravity fed drip irrigation system, or, well, a prototype of mine. And I've seen other, other things like that on the net for individual plants. That kind of thing, you know, using 20 ounce plastic drink bottles. But what I've done here I've drilled a hole in the cap, quarter inch hole, one quarter inch tubing. This is um, this is irrigation tubing, so it's not going to grow mold. And you seal you seal around it. It's kind of crude how I have it hung. I had some ideas, and I just I haven't gone through with that yet. One of the problems I was having was along here in the, the bottom was getting a lot of debris because this this is completely open right here. So I just stuffed some screen in there to keep the debris out. The only problem I'm getting with this is I'm not getting enough pressure. I mean this is that this isn't this actually isn't a very large bottle. So there isn't a lot of water pressure uh, that can be gained from that. If you had a five gallon bucket, there'd be a lot more pressure in there, but I'm not hanging a five gallon bucket. But I have it run down right now into the tomato plant. And what you have here right here. It's a 5GPH flag dripper. I was uh, using some 2GPH drippers and it was taking a long time for it to prime. So I went with uh, supposedly a faster drip. So over here. This camera is very shaky whenever I come out here because this is all lava rock can have a really hard time walking through it. This has the same thing. Five gallon per hour flag dripper. It does work. I am about to fill it. I'll show you it in action. was an ambitious idea. Frickin' lava rock. It was an ambitious idea. I, I had this crazy scheme where when water did fall from the sky, it would fill up. And uh, then it would, it would come down and drip during the day. It was very dry early in the season. But check that out. There is another drawback to this. Uh, it, you know, it doesn't have a timer on it. But it does work. You can put plant food in there too. Works really well for that.